Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today's video is about Samsung heat pump dryer. We've got the uh, uh, dryer for last five years and I think it's um, worth to do product review as well as compared to other dryers on the market right now. It will be two part video. This video will be just description of what it is and our experience in the last five years. The second video will be comparing to way cheaper brand called Asata that I already reviewed on my channel a uh, couple of weeks before. If you didn't see this video, please uh, subscribe to my channel and, and have a look at um, other videos. Um, it is interesting comparison because Samsung is a go-to product, well-known product and Asata is a product no one knows and um, or not many people know and how they compare to one another. So if you like this video or any other videos on my channel, please subscribe, like and hit the notification button so you won't miss any videos coming up, especially comparing this one to Asata. All right, let's start with something. I just moved out of picture. So this is the dryer. We bought this dryer approximately five years ago. And that point in time, it was not top of the shelf, but uh, one of those dryers that you spend a little bit more money and it does great job. So first of all, why heat pump dryer and not conventional tumble dryer? It's a different technology. Uh, the tumble dryer would have a heating elements inside and would bl blow air through them, heat up, go through the drum and vent it out. What is the problem with that? The first of all, because air is so hot and drum is so hot, cloth getting uh, damaged, especially the synthetic ones, the, the cotton ones getting very, um, you know, cramped and, and it's really hard to iron after that as well as laundry a little bit stinks I'm not sure why um, the advantage of tumble dryer is you can hang it in any shape uh, like let's say upright or upside down that's the only advantage of vented dryer also vented dryer is very hungry for electricity because they're always heating up new intake air so the you know, winter dryers are, you know, relatively cheap. You can buy for between three to six hundred dollars in Australia, depends on the brand. Uh, literally, there's not much difference between them. Uh, there's no sophistication. They do what they do. Heat pump is a bit different, and that's why we wanted heat pump for two reasons mainly. First of all, it does not damage your clothes. It's very gentle on the clothes and the technology is different instead of drying them it dehydrates them if you look at your air conditioner you will notice that outdoor unit has that pipe coming out and uh, the water dripping from it actually water dripping from unit that is inside what it does it dehydrates the environment same with that so while it has the environment heating up environment, so one unit is heating, one unit is cooling, almost same here. I'm not claiming technology is the same, but instead of drying clothes, it actually dehydrates them and take that moisture as a dripping water into container above. Uh, so this container here, uh, container looking like that, or if you plumb it, which is really easy on instructions that comes with Samsung, you can plumb it and we plumb it in, in, in a sink uh, outside there. So the water or moisture that getting out of the clothes, instead of collecting a container, it drips down straight to the sink, right? So first of all, it does not damage your clothes, very gentle. And second, as um, technology, it does not have to give the heat away. It keeps heat in the drum and keep basically dehydrating them more and more, taking water out. And first of all, it does not warm up your room. It does not fog, your, fog up your room and it's very easy on energy. So there's two reasons. First, it does not damage your clothes. And second, very easy on energy. Combination of two 
within five years, I can guarantee you, guarantee you it save us plenty of money in a cycle. And look, sometimes when you buy something, you cannot replace it with the same clothing per se. So it's also sentimental value sometimes to call that you cannot purchase and you got favorite pair of shirts or, or, or whatever. That doesn't really matter. Everyone got favorite clothes that doesn't like to be ruined. So this is where uh, a decision came from. Uh, if my memory serves well, five years ago, we paid $1,600 for this dryer and it came as a six star energy rating, which at that point in time, any tumble dryer was one star and it became manageable to run your washing through without you know, taking mortgage for your electricity bill. So gentle on the clothes, very economical on, on, on power. Let's talk about how it performed. Obviously, if dry is still here, that means after five years, it's still functioning well. I cannot claim that we use it every week because oh, the best way to dry clothes is to hang them outside. But every single rainy weekend, the, without hesitation, we had one to three loads coming here and getting out of here dry and nice. With the heat pump dryers, um, uh, it is important to remember that um, because it clothes getting dehydrated, uh, it takes time to dehydrate them. So if you compare, compare it to tumble dryer, um, it's not a fair comparison. It takes longer, so do not get upset. It takes between two to three and a half hours to dehydrate or dry your clothes, right? So it looks like I had the technical difficulties, camera just shut down on me, um, thing happened. Anyhow, um, I lost my train of thought, but please bear with me. Uh, I was probably explaining uh, that it takes uh, longer to dry because it's a, a heat pump dryer. And uh, do not get upset about this, really. Uh, uh, check your settings right, and it's all easy here. The sensors working well uh, most of the time. Just uh, choose your setting on the top dial. When you turn it on, there will be like a eliminator around it. When you choose your setting, then choose sub setting, which is a couple, there's a wrinkle prevent, which is at the end of the drying, it will tumble a little bit. You've got lamp, which is look uh, um, how your clothes look like without opening. You've got time and other smart check. It's actually, you can self-diagnose your dryer there. I didn't do that, but I did download application that does um, self-diagnostics. Um, and also there's a, a child lock right on top here. All those functions or let's say sub-functions are uh, in an instruction book. Uh, feel free to read. Uh, then choose your setting. Sorry, turn on choose your setting, uh, choose your sub-setting and um, Press the play button or start button and we'll start. Um, everything just in that way. Uh, what I did like about the dryer, and it's a little bit different from many other dryers that I use, it's quite um, big opening here. It's easy to take washing from, from, from here into, uh, into dryer. Um, let's talk about quality of build and filters. The quality of build is, I guess, what you expect from Samsung. Uh, it's quite good materials used. Um, nothing is deteriorated within five years. Um, linen filter, I wish that we descri uh, uh, design a little bit better. Filter itself is great, but then you need to open it to uh, clean it up. And when you open it, you see this um, kind of two things that hold it together and they made it from solid plastic. Let me show you here. Uh, from opening and closing, it deteriorates and at some stage it will split and you need new fuels. It probably cost a lot of money. I don't like that. I expect it a little bit more from Samsung in that regard. But look, five years later, it still did not fall apart. It's working, it's easy to clean and put it back. The dry has two filters. So one filter is here one down there we'll talk about it uh, about it soon so just make sure that after every single 
operation you clean them up in the tumble dryer it's just important because uh, air comes through the system and if you're not clean it just chokes the system uh, not good for performance in the heat pump dryer it's way more important than that not just about airflow the bottom unit is a filter with a fine element to filter this dust particles not to go into main heat sink remember the whole idea of the heat pump dryer based on air conditioner principle and if your heat sink getting clogged operation just stops so heat sink is most important element that you got to clean so this is just rough particles after every single clean and Samsung recommends clean this filter when um, filter light eliminates here I'd say if you would like to look after your expensive purchase well empty and clean the filter every single operation let's have a look how you do this so you press and release the lid and it kind of opens up there's a two levers one you press down one you pull, push up and then the whole um, tray getting out in the tray you've got internal kind of um, netting that all the bigger particles accumulate here so you kind of wipe it that and you also got uh, attachment on top of it which i recommend to wash every single time as well it takes five minutes that you can save a lot of money by not clogging um heating element that is out there and when you do if you notice that it's getting clogged you may it's, it's a it's a pro tip um life hack take the old toothbrush dry it and gently clean those fins without bending them you can restore it to almost a uh, new state after doing this um, this is the way I clean literally most of the things that are tricky like a computer um, central processing unit uh, heat sinks and things like that so it's a wide known practice but not many people know that how important is heat sink and those uh, machines when you finish cleaning just slide it back close your levers and close the lid the one thing I've got little problem with the dryer it's not a big problem but just a problem picky because we paid so much money for it when it operates and makes noise normal dry noise it resonates in this cover and because it's uh, kind of very thin plastic you can hear it resonates a little bit more than machine itself it's a plastic noise from here you can easily uh, fix it by jamming something but I thought when you pay so much money for heat pump dryer Samsung would take care of that and create a little bit better cover in here so out of all questions that you can ask about this dryer can you uh, use drainage instead of uh, if you can you uh, plant the drainage instead of using a top um, container yes you can does it dry well yes it does uh, however you need to be patient it takes longer than usual tumble dryer you need to clean it and the biggest question was it was worth it uh, buying it in my books yes we save on cloth uh, because it doesn't ruin clothes uh, we save on electricity yes and the last question that I've got to ask plenty of times can you mount it no you cannot you can mount it if it's like platform but you cannot put it upside down because of the whole operation right yes you can stack it but it's mostly dependent on what's underneath and i suggest um, a contacting manufacturer of or reseller for your washing machine and ask for a stacking kit right it's a fish of stacking kit so you won't, won't void your warranty that is all about it so i think it was good purchase it's five years old now it's working well six star energy rating saving on electricity when you need to use dryer for real and that's all what i wanted to share if you have any questions or you would like me to create videos of about anything to do with this particular dryer let me know in the comments down below 
if you'd like me to um, make me uh, uh, make videos about so if you'd like me to make videos about anything else put comments down below um, if you like my channel if you'd like to see more videos coming and don't miss them out please subscribe hit the notification bell and uh, like this video until next time greg from brisbane australia thank you for watching